Hi everyone, I'm Decker, a deep sea dwelling decorator crab. Yes, you heard that right. I'm a decorator crab, but I don't decorate Christmas trees or birthday parties. I decorate me. I grab goodies like seaweed or sea sponges to bling out my shell. <laughs> God put these clever little spikes for hooks on my shell. They're a little like the Velcro that's on your backpack or tennis shoes. Those little things help all my decorations stay put. Perfecto! I've got a hard exoskeleton, two claws, and four pairs of legs. Let's see. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two. That's ten limbs. How many limbs do you have? Go ahead. Wave one at me. Hey, hey, hey oh. <laughs> I have so many decorations, I blend right in with my surroundings. But at night, you can sometimes see my eyes shining at you. <laughs> Surprise! In the Bible, you can read about other creatures hanging out at night. There were sheep out in the fields with their shepherds. Suddenly, an angel showed up and said Jesus had been born. Glory to the newborn king. <laughs> now don't be crabby. I know it's not time to sing Christmas songs, but my decorations got me excited. It's never too late or too early to tell about God's love. God loved the world so much, he sent Jesus. In the Bible, book of John, chapter 13, verse 34, it says, So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Jesus loves everyone, even people who tend to get overlooked. The shepherds were kind of like outsiders, I suppose. A lot of people didn't think they were very special or important. But Jesus' love was totally for them, too. So God sent angels to tell them the good news first. Jesus had been born. If you ever think you're boring or, or not normal or not special enough, think again. Jesus' love isn't just for popular people. It's for everyone. You don't have to change who you are in order to earn Jesus' love. <laughs> you already have it. So don't try to blend in with the crowd. Be your awesome, unique, totally cool self. <laughs> I'll be my crabby self, too. Jesus loves everyone. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Kelly from church. How are you? Today is Sunday, November 29th. And first of all, I hope you and your families had amazing Thanksgiving this last week. Um, I know that we didn't celebrate in the way we normally would, but... Um, we enjoyed it nonetheless as a family, and I hope you and your families did as well. I hope everyone's staying happy, healthy, and safe during this time. Um, and there is hope as we look to the future. Hope that there will be a vaccine for coronavirus. Um, hope that we can get back to a little bit more of the things we used to call normal, like gathering at church. I think we have a tentative date of January 10th. Um, to open our church again, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but hope is what we're talking about this week in Sunday School too. Um, first, it's the first Sunday of Advent, which is four Sundays and then leading up to Christmas Day itself. So today we are talking about hope. And the Bible story is all about angels coming to shepherds in the field to let them know about Jesus's birth. And the great thing about that is that God could have chosen anyone to give this news to. He could have chosen a king or someone who was really rich or someone who was really smart or any of those things. And instead, he chose people like you and me. Not that we're not smart or we don't have money or those kinds of things, but I have a very traditional job, I would say. 
And so he chose people like us. He chose shepherds in the field doing work every day with their hands, taking care of animals, all of those things to deliver this good news to. And he could have chosen anyone. So the good news is that Jesus' promise there is room for everyone, regardless of your status in society or your place in the community. Um, even if you sometimes feel alone, um, you know, not normal, it's okay because God has a place for you in his kingdom. And that's the exciting thing. And that should give all of us hope. So um, that's what we're learning about today. Again, it's the first week of Advent. The candle we light this week is also called Hope. Um, you'll see a video about today's lesson, and then after that, there's a little um, snippet about the first week of Advent um, and about hope and expectation. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will try and provide these each week leading up to the Christmas holiday. Um, I wish you and your families the best, and I hope to see you again very soon. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. of Christmas, Jesus and the Shepherds. This is Jesus. Hello. Jesus is the Son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hello. Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. On the night Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in the field keeping watch over their sheep. <sighs> Suddenly, an angel appeared before them, uh -oh. and a bright light shone all around them. <gasps> the shepherds were so scared, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. Uh, okay. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Whoa, what? The angel told the shepherds that they would find Jesus in a barn, wrapped in strips of cloth, laying in a manger. Okay. Then the angel was joined by many, many other angels, and all of them sang, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Then the angels returned to heaven. I wonder how and the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Yeah. So they hurried to the village and found the baby Jesus laying in the manger. Wow! <laughs> After seeing Jesus, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had told them about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. Mary made sure she remembered all these things and thought about them often. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep and praised God for all they had seen. The baby was exactly who the angel had told them he was, the Savior of the world, the Son of God. The Old Testament is full of stories, fascinating, true stories that capture the imagination. Brutal stories of war, revenge, and violence. Tragic stories of betrayal, and endless stories of God's power, His love, and His faithfulness. And every story points to a promise. 
a savior is coming. Things will be put right. Don't give up. God gave Isaiah a glimpse of what to wait for. A people walking in darkness see a great light. The war is over. The victory celebration begins. How? A child is born. A son is given. A leader will finally bring peace and justice forever. And so the waiting began. Never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. 